What's up, guys? The Toad that is making a lot of people a lot of money. Oh, the community on Turbo, by the way, is super strong. I'm not going to lie. Meme coins are very fun to hold because they're pretty much community driven, which is what the initial intention and mission was for the founder, Red Mankind, when he made Turbo. He made it with ChatGPT. He had a $69 budget. He said he vested or his team said he vested, which was like less than 10% or around 10%. And it's now run by the community. And if you go on Twitter, if you follow me, which I recommend, by the way, on, on uh, in the description, just one account. Um, there's so many memes being tossed out there. I don't mean meme coins, but like the toad, like lifting and the rocket ship. And there's like so many AI images. It's actually really funny. But this is the thing, right? Meme season's a real thing. I, sh I showed you guys today in my previous live stream. We saw many meme coins up. Uh, bonk. Um, dog with hat, um, Ponke, Turbo, many meme coins are up right now because meme season's a real thing. And people like to knock retail and say, oh, they're a bunch of normies, lose money. And they're not really wrong. They do lose money for the most part. When you look at the analytics of who makes money, it's usually very few versus the, versus the majority who lose money in this space. But the way I look at it is if you can't beat them, join them. You know, I, I've been very vocal on being a quote unquote normie, not the crypto, by the way, that rugged. I mean, like a normal investor who uses primarily Coinbase to invest. I also use Uphold and sometimes I use Gemini. That being said, though, mean coins, I know they're risky. I know they're high risk, high reward. I mean, you can make the argument and say every old coin is high risk, high reward. Pretty much Bitcoin is the only safe asset, Ethereum as well, and, and Caspa as well. But other than that, though, you're taking a gamble no matter what. But one thing that's real is that people are making a lot of money. And on my uh, live stream today, we had uh, like eight people say they're in six figures from Turbo alone. Like it's not from Bitcoin. It's not from Casper. It's not from Ethereum. It's from Turbo, a mean coin. And I always say it, profit, profit. And right now we're gearing up on Turbo. If you click the uh, seven day chart up uh, massively, this seven day chart is better than most altcoins one year chart right now the seven day chart you click the month chart it is up 1100 it can almost take down raditz from dragon ball z you click the year chart it's up over two thousand percent which would get destroyed by napa but it'd be a decent fight until he powers up so turbo is gearing up for a major run you're probably like what the hell is going on so Apparently, they applied to Binance, and another tier one might list them. There's rumors that's probably KuCoin. So we're seeing a lot of sentiment change in the market. Right now, the fear and greed is going down to 64, and although Bitcoin's going down, a lot of us who are investing into some of our plays are making a lot of money. You know, my Discord, we were up last night late because we saw turbo pumping. I said it before on Twitter. I made a video on it. It's going to break a penny. People fade it. They dismiss what I say. They say I'm stupid. It's going to break a penny. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. You can watch it happen for yourself. Um, people always like to doubt until they see the, the action speak for itself. Words mean nothing. I, I totally get it. But once you see for yourself it break a penny, don't be surprised how strong it holds above a penny. The market cap right now is still early. You're still sub 500 million market cap. I said before, it's a toad. It's a part of AI. It's not an AI coin, but it's a part of AI. The founder is doxxed, meaning we know who he is. He's genuine, which is great from a, a relationship standpoint if Coinbase or Binance want to talk to someone. And the team is very active on social media. They're very active, always posting. They're always answering people's questions on Twitter. They're reposting my stuff. They're messaging people. Like That's what you want to see. The only thing Turbo does not have right now is the exchange listings, which are happening, and a growing community. The last I checked, there was around 20, 21,000 holders. When you look at cryptos like Shiv, which has almost 2 million holders, and you got Pepe, which has probably around that, communities do form for meme coins. And when they start getting some establishment, which in Turbo's case, Uphold to me was a tier one, although it's not recognized as a crypto exchange, when I saw the potential of it and the founder, I was like, this one has to get in my portfolio, which I went pretty damn heavy into, which normally goes against my meme coin advice. But in this case, I had a gut instinct. I said it, you know, a couple of weeks back. You know, some of you were commenting on my last few uh, Turbo videos saying, damn, John called it. And listen, I'm not saying I know it all, but 
when I get a gut feeling on something, like I did for Art Block when it was eight cents, found it accidentally. Uh, LCX three cents, Everjung fourteen cents, PNG eight cents, and you know GFI dollar fifty. Like when I find some of these plays, sometimes it hits you, and when it does, you got to act on it. In this case for Turbo, I did. And the thing is this, right? People right now are saying, oh, it's too late, this and that. Shiba Inu went to 40 billion last bull cycle. Remarkable. Dogecoin went to 90 billion. Pepe might break 100 billion this cycle. I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to happen, but if Pepe does flip ship and gets close to Dogecoin, which the potential is there, but Dogecoin is kind of the granddaddy, um, it could very well get there. I mean, Dogecoin is probably going to break 100 billion this cycle. Shiba Inu is definitely going to break 50 billion. Turbo was below the 200 rank today. When it breaks a penny, it's probably going to break top 100 soon. How many meme coins are we going to see in the top 100? Again, this is, you know, people are like, oh, you know, I should have, I should have just took the plunge on it, but I hate meme coins. And I'm like, listen, your fiat or USD or wherever you're from, it's indifferent to the asset you're buying. If you buy Bitcoin, it's fiat with Bitcoin. But Bitcoin's kind of the exception. Bitcoin to me is like my own bank. But if you're buying, say, Casper, Cardano, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, and you put $1,000 in there, it's just $1,000 with a fancy name on it. When you look at your investments that way, that's when you start having a less emotions in the market, more logic. And you look at an investment like Turbo or whatever meme coin you're looking at, and you're like, okay, there's money to be made. This is the thing. People, they rather buy the old time high. They'd rather buy when it pumps because this is confirmation bias. What I always say, you can't buy high and sell high. Sure, you can, but when you factor in capital gains tax and those who bought low who are going to take profit on you, that's where a lot of people lose money. And that's where a lot of the subset of whales make a lot of money because they know this and they do this time and time again. They buy low, they wait, they don't wait for confirmation bias, they accumulate, they DCA, like we've been doing on, on Discord for Turbo. We bought it a few times now. And they wait. They wait. They don't swing trade. They don't question it when it goes down 10%, 20%. They have strong conviction, a good foundation of research. Now, again, meme coins are very risky. We saw Normie go down 100% rug pull within 24 hours. I don't care what they're saying out there. Hack, whatever. To me, it's all BS. It's a freaking rug. You know, they're going to relaunch a new coin, which, again, is sketchy. Big, big red flags all across the board. But Turbo is here to stay. Again, it separates itself from the pack because it's a toad. It's not a dog. It's not a cat. It's pretty scarce for a meme coin. The tokenomics are some of the best I've ever seen. The inflation is pretty much non-existent, less than 8% inflation. The team is genuine, and they're proactive, and they care. They're always on social media. You may hate X. You may hate social media. But how do you get marketing out there? How do you advertise your coin? You start posting, you're talking to people, you're answering questions. And they did an AMA recently too. So again, you can stay away, totally fine. But Turbo, even at a 500 million market cap, surprisingly, can still 100x from there. Which would be around, I don't even know what the, market, uh, the price would be, but it's what, 207? So that'd be around 70 cents. It's possible. Personally, I think 50 cents is sort of the top end range where it can go to cycle which is around a $35 billion market cap, give or take $35, $30 billion. But listen, this thing can hit a dollar if Coinbase was set the cycle. Now, personally, I don't think this other tier one exchange is Coinbase. I think it's probably KuCoin. But that being said, Coinbase could list it at any, at any point. It's, like I said, it's an ETH token, which Coinbase loves ETH tokens. And it's got a very good community. And we saw an ETH token frog like Pepe get listed on every single tier one book Coinbase in a matter of a week. Imagine if Turbo has that same run. That's why I said like a lot of you guys like Pepe and that's totally fine, but I imagine a future where the majority of investors are going to take profits on Pepe and roll it into Turbo. Like for Pepe to get to a hundred billion, which is a very large market cap for a meme coin, it would be less than a 20x from here. Less than a 20x. Turbo can a hundred X easily. It's a lot easier to get to a sub 50 billion market cap than a hundred billion. Only Dogecoin, which didn't even do it yet, came close. So I'm not saying Pepe can't do it. I'm just saying when you're looking at a meme coin that's high risk, high reward, 
this is where I'm more looking at Turbo because the exchange listings are still catalysts that can send it like this, but it's also still small enough at market cap to where it can take off. And let's also not forget Pepe's team's anonymous and Turbo's is not. Pepe also has over, you know, almost a half a quadrillion tokens. Turbo has 69 billion. It has less than XRP, a little more than HBAR. So it can still move. It can get to a dollar plus someday. Pepe will never be a dollar. It's too large of a supply. So this is what I mean. You want to be in fast moving vehicles. That's why Turbo is moving so fast, by the way, is because there's very few holders. It's got the centralized holdings. And with the low inflation and low allocation to the team, there's not much selling pressure. So when you take a decentralized mean coin that's fun, that's funny to look at and has a growing community, that's why you're barely seeing dips take place at Turbo right now. I'm not saying it can dip, but this is why you're not seeing a huge dip because people are understanding what they're holding. They're seeing some of the points I'm making or someone else is making, and they're realizing this could be a life changer, which again, we saw on my live stream, many people are making six figures. They're probably going to be millionaires off Turbo. I know for a fact, 100% I'm going to be a millionaire off Turbo. I know Turbo is going to make me a million dollars or more. Mark my words. I am very bullish on Turbo. Um, I bought some yesterday at a pretty high average uh, price point. It was uh, two zeros four nine, and this is coming from somebody who bought it all the way down three zeros two six. You know, but um, again, this is not me telling you to dump the house on it, back the truck up, and dump your entire bank account in. I would never say go in. You have to assess your own risk. You have to. You got to use your head here. You got to try to keep your emotions out of it. I know FOMO's hitting many of you guys, but again, meme season, it's a real thing. But old coin season is also a real thing. And you got plays like Artblock, Aerodrome, even plays like Solana, PNG, GFI, Florida. You know, some of our recent plays, they're going to rock a ship too at some point. It's just a matter of when. It's all a waiting game. Crypto is pretty much all a waiting game. The more patient you are, the more you can just take yourself out of the market and just relax and tread the water and swim with sharks. By the way, link to my Patreon Discord below the better off you're going to be and the better you'll be positioned to make a lot of profits. But yeah, Turbo, it's very hard to gauge uh, where the price can go. In terms of me taking profits at a penny or around that price point, not going to do it. I think Turbo has a lot more room for growth. And I think a penny is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the potential for Turbo price-wise. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, talk to me. If you're crypto, I'm buying, selling, trading next, be a part of conference calls. We do them every single week where you can talk to me in a nice relaxed setting. We ask me questions about literally anything. It's a little more closer up than live streams. Or be part of a like-minded support group of investors who want to change their life, which over 30 have already done six to seven figures already. Remarkable. Then I encourage you guys to join Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. We are now doing a 40% discount, a great discount if you're interested. Do you think Binance will list Turbo? And if so, what do you think the other tier one exchange might be? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.